of the biggest decisions you'll make in your life is to choose the man or the woman that you will marry. People take it lightly, but it can make or break your life. So with all the ambition and the vision that you have, with all the dreams that your parents have for you, if you marry the wrong guy or the wrong girl, everything can be derailed one way or the other. So don't play with it. Don't marry a fool, whether male or female. Have a sense of who you are. And when you have a sense of who you are, you will understand who is the fit for you as the Lord leads you. You will know that it's not about Naira and Kobo. It's not about silver and gold. The son of a rich man is not a rich boy. Because only the one that has the cash flow has the money. What's the best thing that will happen? They'll have a big wedding. They didn't have it for you. They had the big wedding for their own image. They will give you a house and many cars on day one. All the cars will get old at the same time. And if you do not have the capacity to maintain or to keep them, you're already in trouble. They can't pay school fees. Cash flow is money to do everything you need to do every day, not for the wedding ceremony. So marrying the son of a rich man is not your solution. Seek to find the bone of your bone. Who can accommodate the vision and the ambition in your heart as a person? Who can be an enabler for you to emerge? Who can encourage and support you? It might not look like it right now, but just understand that people manifest in what? In seasons. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Look for a man that fears the Lord. A man who is responsible and right thinking. He has vision and he has ambition. I guarantee you, he will show up somewhere and you will be glad you met him. There are many that have seemed like it when we were young. Many of those that seemed like it did not emerge to be it. So you have no, you cannot tell who this person will become. But you can test his character, his person, his commitment, his truthfulness, his love for you. And his ability to hold and to encourage you. Especially for the girls, I'm talking to you now. Listen to me. God made them what? Male and female. Every promise of God is for you as it is for the male. God meant for you to fully manifest the best of yourself. Otherwise, guess how it affects our nation? Our population statistics will show you. Women are what? 49.5. Men are what? 50.5, if it's even correct. Okay, let's say 50-50, so we won't have any argument. Only a madman drives a twin engine plane and flies with one engine when it's meant to perform at its best with two engines. When a nation has a population split of 50-50 and does not maximize the capacity of its women's folk, it reduces, it limits its own productivity as a nation. Why? Because the talents and the abilities that are inherent in that other 50% of the population is locked down, is unreleased. And then the men die under the strain. Because it means you are using 50% of the population to carry the weight of 100% of the population. Your ambition will not be at the same level. All I ask you to do is to be the best of yourself. Not the best of another person. And that's another thing. As you depart now, Yoruba people say, 20 children do not play together for 20 years. So all of you will not emerge at the same level at the same time. Don't worry about that. Don't follow any other person's clock. Follow your time scale. Be the best of yourself at every stage of your life. Celebrate your friends that succeed at a stage. But don't despise or be envious of them because your own time will come. Everybody's time is different. If you follow your own time, you will be successful in your own time. And your success will last for a lifetime and it will be a great legacy. I commit into your hands the greatness and the future of this nation. I commit into your hands my dream and my aspiration for a great nation. I commit into your hands the challenge and the responsibility of building a nation that the whole world will look at and bow. Why? Because in this country, there's everything that we need to be great. And you will be a key part of
of unlocking that potential. To whom much has been given, much is expected. A lot has been given to you by your parents, by the school, and by all the people that continue to invest in ensuring that you gain the right knowledge. And whatever you have not been given, go and find. So I do not care even if your parents are not the right example for what you know you should be doing. You have a responsibility to make the right choice. So don't give me an excuse. You are in the generation where you can seek information and support. You can seek enablers. And you can move the world and show the entire world that we do not need our people to die in the Mediterranean Sea. Nor do we need anybody to call us a shithole nation because we're not. You must understand there is greatness in this nation and it must emerge. And the responsibility is yours. Thank you. Do come back for more inspirational videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tedora Follow me on Twitter, on Facebook and on Instagram at Tedora